Hi, I'm Mike Haddock and I just bought my first RV. I didn't think I was going to buy one, but I got it from my cousin for under $3,000. It's a 1982 Chevy. It's got a 350 engine in it. It's got brand new tires all around. I took it for a ride, 47,000 miles. Uh, it's what I was looking for. I wanted an old school engine because I'm an old school mechanic. No computers. I could fix anything myself. So uh, I'm going to give you a little tour of it. I'm going to show you first how I look at one of these things mechanic wise. So whether you're buying a brand new one or an old one or whatever, you could look at it how I would look at it. So here we go. Now let's take a look at the way I see it. The first thing is doors open and close easy. That means they weren't used a lot. It says it has uh, 47,000 miles on it. I believe it. Because when you get down here and you look at the gas pedal, right there, there's no wear on it. There's no wear on the brake pedal. That tells me it wasn't used a whole lot. Uh, emergency brake. So that's good. So that's nice. It's got rolled down windows. I don't want the electric ones because they only brake. Then I go down here and I look at the tires. These tires are brand new. So I got six brand new tires on it. That's a thousand dollars right there. Here we're gonna go here. We're gonna open up. We got it open and we're gonna look in there. And what I see is a carburetor. Beautiful. Very small hole though to go into a carburetor. That's a Holly carburetor. That's for a racing engine. So first thing I do is check the oil. I'm gonna pull that dipstick out. And look at it. It's not full. It's a little bit dirty, but there's no particles in it, so I'm good about that. I'm going to put that back in. Then, pull my transmission thing out. Old school transmission. That fluid's like brand new. I don't see no dirt on it, but we're going to change the transmission fluid anyway. So that's that. And then right here, open this up. It's full of. Uh, I know, I know the guy who had this. He was my cousin, and that's filled up. That looks good. That's the antifreeze, but I'm going to change that. I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to change that. And then we go over here. And this is the brake cylinders. That's fooled up and looks brand new. I heard they changed that. So that's good. Oh, that's good. I have my little battery tester here because he said that he charged the battery before he started it. And it's got a little button on here. And it shows OK. I don't know if you could see that, and if it was charging, it would show up here. More about that later. I just wanted to give an initial chat, test. Battery says okay. It's good. Now I'm going to go underneath it a little bit. And look, I put the carpet down so I don't get filthy. Look up here. Look at that. There's the fuel pump. I'm going to get me an extra fuel pump. And belt is good, but I'm going to change the belt. I don't see anything leaking down here. Here's the grease points. And those grease points are wet. That means they were greasing it. Up in here, they're wet. So that looks good. Nothing got hit by a snow bank. You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking for. I don't see no damage under here. Good, this is a little loose power steering pump. I'm gonna go over this whole thing. I used to live in a sailboat down in the Keys and I'm gonna uh, show you the comparisons. Now I'm gonna crawl underneath here and I'm gonna look. I don't see. Here's a transmission. I don't see no drips or wetness under there. That's good. I'm gonna change the transmission fluid. I look up here. That's solid. Now it has a middle bearing because this is a long crankshaft goes all the way down to the pumpkin down there. That's all solid. If 
I go a long trip, I'm going to change that. And then back here to the pumpkin. There's no drips there. I'm going to change the fluid. I'm going to show you how I do that. Emergency brake cable. Nothing's rusted up here in the springs. Like I said, they're all brand new tires. Uh, the exhaust system. He told me that that don't look too good. And then over here, when I had it going, we found a hole. Where is it? Right there. A hole. So probably, matter of fact, that slipped right out of there. Maybe that'll slip back in. So we'll go take a look at that. That's for underneath to look solid. You don't see no rot or anything like that. Now we're going to come over here. Right in here, there's two screws, which means you need to have a star wrench. But when I run for political office, the first thing I do is outlaw uh, special tools. Every tool they make has to be so simple the dumbest mechanic in the world could fix it. So we get them two off. Down in here, we got two clamps right there. It's going to loosen that up. Down at the bottom, we got a couple bolts which I loosened up already. So I'm going to take this off first. And this thing. Right there. We're going to take a quick look right here at this setup. This is a Chevy 350 engine HEI distributor right here. This is your spark and this right here, Holly carburetor is your gas. And I'm looking at it, I just see a little little leak there, nothing big. My transmission's right here, I can get at all my bolts and all my nuts and I could fix anything right here. It's the most, you can go to almost any auto parts store around the country and get a part for this. Well I went through the truck the way I would do it and I I'm partial to a Chevy I've owned everything I've owned Fords and I've owned I came from the 60s I've owned all those cars with all those different engines and I was never happy about uh, Chevy putting a distributor bit in the back but when you can see it right here that's terrific I uh, back when I got out of the service in the middle 70s I bought a van I grew my hair long and I went out out to uh, California like everybody did at that time and then I came back to Arizona and Utah and, and the Grand Canyon and I like to do that one more time the insurance for this thing was $125 a year to trade it over cost me $300 uh, this cost me less than $3,000 if I drive it for a year and I smash it I'm gonna leave it there I'm not gonna be dealing with insurance companies or this or that the other thing I call up a uh, rental car company let them pick me up and that's it this engine you can get any part for it any time that's the biggest reason I bought this motorhome I just want to take you through this stuff I lived in a sailboat in the Keys for a year on and off every couple months in the winter time and this is just driving around in a land sailboat I guess you could say it so I'm gonna take you through my adventures and uh, that's it and as I fix it I'm going to show you how I do it why I do it go through all the things and uh, go from there so that's the end of the video if you want to see any more just uh, put it in the comments and I'll remember it as I go thanks for watching